1592 in the highlands of Scotland, and he is still alive. He is immortal. For 400 years, he's been a warrior. A lover. A wanderer. Constantly facing other immortals in combat to the death. The winner takes his enemy's head. And with it, his power. I am a watcher, part of a secret society of men and women who observe and record, but never interfere. We know the truth about immortals. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Here we are, born to be kings, we're the brave. Fusel a stone. You almost had it, Luther. The thought of you becoming all powerful scares the hell out of me even now. But is it really possible that the possession of all the pieces could make an ordinary human immortal? There's only one way to find out.
Son of a bitch! Here, here, here. Take, take, take. I don't want your wallet. Why are you following me? I'm following you? I live here in 3B. You're a liar! No! Prove it. My, my, my driver license. You're a liar! Kiss! 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 Prove it. Don't move. I don't understand. I, I saw you watching me on the street. You're beautiful. Who wouldn't? I didn't mean anything. Okay, 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 okay. Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm having a really bad day. Hey, you and me both, okay? This all there is? Looking for something specific? Just doing some research. Oh, for whom? For me. And you are? Adam Pearson. Research? Ah, yes. You're supposed to be working on the Mythos Chronicle. And you are? Your boss, Nathan Stern. McLeod, why did you move the barge? I thought I'd never find you. I had some repairs to do. What'd you do to your hair? I didn't want to be recognized. I would never know it was you. Did you get serious? Someone's following me. Someone's always following you. What'd you steal this time? It's not like that. I promise. What do you want with Luther's file, hmm? I was just doing some checking. I thought uh, he might have crossed paths with Mythos. <laughs> he didn't. As you used to be his watcher, I guess you should know. So you'll be finished with this. Uh, th there is just one thing. The... the crystals Luther had, I... I thought we kept them. They're in the director's gallery. Really? Uh, can I see them? Of course. Follow me, it's this way. They shot me twice, McLeod. You sure you don't know who it was? No, no, but these guys were mortal. I didn't feel them coming. I mean, one minute I was in my bed asleep, and then there, there were these guys in these Halloween masks in my bedroom. Oh, it's kind of poetic justice. Half your stuff is stolen in the first place. Oh, you're not listening to me, McLeod. These were not burglars. One of them had a sword. Did he have a tattoo? What, a, a dagger and a heart with the word mom written underneath? I don't think so. I no. Don't... A watcher tattoo on his wrist. I didn't have time to look. The guy's blade was two inches from my neck, another minute of sleep, and then it would just have been all over. I'm really scared. It's okay. It's just... Beautiful, isn't it? Almost complete. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if Luth had found them all. Nothing would have happened, probably. I've seen legends in the records. Going back before Luth, uh, before Rebecca. Some say that the crystal would protect its wearer from death. It's a superstition. But possible, all the same. Imagine what it would be like to find the last piece. To become like them. Immortal. There's a thought. I spoke to Dawson. He doesn't think he's any of their people, but he's checking. Now, how would he know? Do you think Renegade watches advertise in the Yellow Pages? Amanda, relax. Whatever it is, we'll deal with it together. Good. We can start with that guy over there. I saw him yesterday, and now he's been reading that newspaper for the past 20 minutes without turning a page. I think we should go talk to him. Start an argument with me. What? Remember Munich? The Countess? Yeah. <gasps> the Countess! Hey, it wasn't my fault! Don't ever speak to me again! I won't speak to you again if that's <gasps> the way you want to take it! I'm sick and tired of your bloody jealousy. She was a friend! Right? <laughs> <laughs>
following. Let go of me. Why were you following me? I wasn't following you. <laughs> Amanda. What? I'm sure you can explain. So you knew they were breaking into my place? I thought they were just burglars. Oh, you didn't see the sword? I, mean, I can't believe you just stood there and watched. Watch is what they're supposed to do. We never interfere. I mean, you shouldn't know about us. I shouldn't even be talking to you now. Oh, well, I guess you just don't have a choice, do you? What's your name? Oh, just give me five minutes with this look. Would you chill out a minute? Look, I'm sorry about Amanda. She's a little uptight. Let's start with your name. Dan. Dan Geiger. Okay, Dan, we don't want information on other immortals. The men that broke into Amanda's apartment weren't there to rob her. They were there to kill her. We need to know who those men are. Yeah, well, I really want to help you, but I don't know. Didn't you get a look at any of them? They were wearing masks. Look, I saw them get into a van and drive away. What kind of van? Um, I wasn't really paying attention. You're a watcher. You're supposed to be paying attention. Well, this guy's obviously an idiot. I, um, I think it was blue. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It was green. You saw it? Yeah, American. What kind? Uh, Bentleys I know, Ferraris I know. Uh, vans I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. And um, what are you going to do with me? You can go. <sighs> Dan. I'm sorry, but I have no idea how it happened. No, it's not all your fault. It's because of Dawson. Damn. McLeod knows about us. Now Amanda does too. We'll have to reassign you. It was too soon to put you in the field. I suppose everybody knows how I uh, failed. No, only me. Look, you've got a good record. No reason to spoil it now. We'll uh, put you on research for a while. And we'll keep this between ourselves, hmm? Thank you, sir. Now. What exactly did you tell them? Didn't know there's so many green Chevys in Paris. Oh, what is this, the fifth one we've checked? Yep. Well, look on the bright side, at least we're not in Detroit. <laughs> Pretty obvious, huh? It's just, you know, they could be anywhere. They could be in the streets, in the shops. It could be anybody. Is this what it's like to be mortal? Only when someone's trying to kill you. Come on. We'll check the last one and then we'll call it a day. It's a very good way to get yourself killed. Grab a beer. The football game will be on soon. So, when are we going after the bitch again? This is one of the guys who tried to kill me. Yeah. Stay with him. What do you want? Why were you trying to kill me?
You're getting obsessed, Amanda. Why don't you put that away? Well, at least now it makes sense. Yeah, if you call dying over a piece of glass sense. Well, obviously not everyone shares your opinion of its value. Oh, Amanda, you've lived for over a thousand years. How many times have you seen real magic? McLeod, I was an illiterate thief starving on the street before Rebecca found me and made me her student. This is 